Hello everybody, I am Fuzzy Face. Welcome back today to something a little bit different, not drastically different, not that big of a change. We're still working within the Motorsport Manager universe. If you're a subscriber to my channel, whether you've seen my content before, you'll know we're currently doing a Williams sort of resurrection career on the PC version of Motorsport Manager. If you're new here and you haven't checked that out, go to the description below. You'll find links to that video or those videos. But anyway, we're back. The Earlier this morning, Motorsport Manager 3 was released for the mobile, tablet, iOS, Android, whatever you choose to use and play this game on. It costs £3.99. I think it also costs €3.99 or €4.49. Euros if you head on over to the store here, there is a bundle which is, I think it's available for 48 hours after you buy the game. When I headed over here, it was there. It costs £4.99 and with the bundle you get the Chairman's Payment and the Game Editor, both of which cost £6.99 by themselves. Obviously, as we go through our first playthrough of this game, I've got them turned off. You can turn them off in the preferences just to make sure that we play this game properly on our first game. Maybe we'll come back and play a second game. Maybe we'll go through like the GT or the Endurance with the uh, with the sort of cheats on with the chairman payments on and the ability to change the team names and the rules of the series as we're going. But we're going to jump in now. We're going to hit play. We're going to get into a new game on Motorsport Manager 3. So here is our created team principal, Johnny Racer, currently rocking the forehawk, the long beard, as I currently do in real life, sort of. Um, if you buy the bundle, as I was going over earlier, you do get these gone glasses. I think you get another hairstyle as well. I'm not quite certain whether that is added when you buy the bundle, but you do get the gold glasses. But anyway, this is our team principal, Johnny Ray. So we're going to head in now. We get to choose a backstory as well. So we can either be an ex-engineer where we get plus 10 plus 10 reliability, an ex-driver where drivers improve faster, or we become sort of a financial guru. We were in the financial financial industry before and we get a minus five percent cost on all purchases i feel like the x driver is going to be more beneficial to here so we can improve the drivers as we start in tier four it looks like we start off in tier four there here there's a new tier hopefully we're going to get an updated version of the pc game and maybe that is a indication that's going to be more tiers added to the pc version when that comes out so we've got an open cockpit open wheel sprint five races no refueling three spec parts which is where we're going to be starting there's also a new starting point for the closed cockpit cars with a gt stars gt rising stars and then we've got the gt series a endurance series there in tier three and the european racing series which we used to in tier two we've got the international gt championship another endurance series which is the equivalent as in the pc and we've got the asia pacific super cup in tier two and then tier one we've just got the equivalent of formula one 12 races 10 teams and there's ers there as well and the best drivers and teams but as it is we can only start here in tier four with the open wheel sprint which is where we're going to be starting so we're going to click continue which i'm hoping is going to take us into where we do the car so here we go we'll just give ourselves a simple name let's just call ourselves something like fuzz nation racing and let's just randomize the paint job i'm actually pretty happy with that paint job the first randomized one let's just i'm pretty happy with those colors let's just see if there's a different style here we've got a yellow bottom to the car should we keep yellow on the car what other colors do we have a choice so we've got like a an old English racing green. No, I did kind of like the yellow that was on the car, but maybe a little bit more muted. And maybe if we change some of this black to like a silvery paint colour, like a greyish paint colour. It's not the best paint job in the world, but I don't mind it. Yeah, we'll just stick with that. We'll hit continue here. I'm guessing this game is not going to be too dissimilar from Motorsport Manager 2 on the mobile because it's not too long since that came out but we've got upgraded sort of portraits we're rocking new portraits here new updated graphics but roger our assistant we're gonna say no to the tutorial if there's anything new in this game we're just gonna discover it as we go along drivers if we look at that we're second on the grid for the drivers at the moment so let's just head on over there and have a look at who our drivers are at the moment we've got michael barras a two just over a two star rated driver and we've got dolores and de la pena one star rated driver i think we're gonna head over and maybe try and replace her earlier as for cars we're seventh on the grid overall um if we head on over here we can buy parts we can build parts so what can we build at the moment we can build a new front wing for six hundred and fifty thousand pounds 
650,000 pounds, $650,000, I'm getting confused here, we've got dollars here for some reason, whether we can change that in the preferences, or not, can we actually change what this is, we've got just language English, can we not change the, I think we've got different race difficulties here, we've got gameplay, if hard mode is enabled, rival teams will make smarter race and pit stop strategies, so we're going to put on hard mode as well, we'll keep the race difficulty at medium, don't want it to be too hard here we're not running this like we do the pc version where we try to keep things a little bit more difficult we can spend a little bit of money here and get decent parts from the off so we can already go for an, like an 86 performance but we're losing money per race here so we don't really have the money for this so i think we're just going to go in and actually build a new front wing so what do we do here we can just add this guy eric sundergrain one of our um race engineers or developers Performance plus 11, reliability plus 4%. So we're only at that. What is our current front wing rated at? Let's just head back here. Let's just head back again. Getting confused with the layout by parts. So our current front wing, front wing is rated a 32. I'm guessing it's going to be better until we see what sort of sponsorship money we get coming through. To get to this, we're going to have to build quite a few front wings to get to this sort of performance and reliability. So I'm guessing it's just going to be better to hold off on what we do. Instead of building parts, we're just going to buy a part maybe. I think that is going to be the way forward here. So yeah, so we're going to move back. Uh, staff, we're eighth on the grid for staff. We've got Eric Sundgren, uh, one of our engineers, Johanna Stein, Melanie Hager, mechanics we've got a two and a half star we're not too bad here i don't think there's not much to replace um yeah they're not no one really there who's any better we do have one staff member that we could replace melanie hager she is not the best overall so i think we're gonna think about replacing her who have we got here we've got Ta tarsicio capioli um, performance 18, reliability 13, for cost per race £160,000. So I think we're just going to wait and see what our money situation's like until we start doing that because I do want a better second driver as well. Possibly if we head on over here to scout drivers, we've got Sofia Bukalova, Rachel Noyes, a two and a half star rated driver. Maya Latinen, who is a, is a holdover from the PC version of the game. She is a peer driver as well. So should we actually go for her? I know when we did the Predator Racing series, she did all right for us. We can influence driver, persuade. So we have like points here as well. Scout improvement rate. I think we're just going to go ahead and negotiate a contract with her. She's got a little bit of room for improvement as well. So we can improve her. She's going to give us enough money in the early going, which is what we sort of want. So here we go. We've got a new graphic there. So position within the team. We'll give her equal status. That's not too bad. She's not bothered about the cost of the wage. She wants a short contract as well, but she wants a signed non-fee. Quite big, so it's less important. And let's just see if she's happy with that deal point. So we move forward. We're almost at a handshake. So what are we going to have to do here? Maybe offer her a tiny little bit more money since she is a pay driver. Let's see if that gets her here. No, it doesn't. Oh, no, we're going to be out of luck here. Let's try and give her a signing bonus as well. Hopefully she's going to shake her hand. She does. Possibly didn't need to give her that big of a signing bonus. But she comes into the team now. We're going to replace Adela Pena. It's going to cost us a little bit of money to do that. But that's going to more than make up for itself during the season. We see that go up to 820,000. But that should start to go down. 520,000. Now we're losing per race. They've got pretty similar cars. So let's head on back over to the home screen. We can scout drivers. We can build parts which we've already looked at. We've got three offers available as it is for sponsors and we've got one more after this so if we look here per race payment 250,000 eve technology for four races offering us for 350,000 this one's offering yeah this one's actually better off and we get an extra race so we're going to select eve technology sign sponsor it's not going to take us into the black as in regards to what we're getting per race so let's just see what this other offer is. It's a bonus payment if we finish second or above. Is that the only one we can get? Are we going to get another offer here? 
They're offering 300,000. So we're just going to hold off for this one because it's only a bonus payment. These offer 170,000 pounds for 14 for above, which we would be able to get and break even on a race. So we can set 300,000 for finishing ninth or above, which I think is what we're going to do. If it gets to that, what else have we got? Supplier network, which is available after this race. We can work on next year's car in three races and we can access the Young Driver program at the end of the season. Uh, we've got a vote on the GMA coming up. Uh, will be for ERS. So what else is there to look at which could be new? We've got messages. I don't think we've got any messages. Obviously we've got build parts. And I think we're going to have the same tree branch sort of thing for the HQ as well. So if we just zoom out here, you can go up here. Part development, you can go ahead and work on drivers as well. You can build a staff gym to start with. Financial, we can build a... What can we build here? A public relations team which unlocks another plus one for sponsor appeal which might be more beneficial in the early going here because if we can get better sponsors in the team that's going to pay for itself whereas part development we can either go with a no we don't want to look at the balance sheet what what is even happening here i didn't even click anything back to the headquarters come on we can brakes facility it costs one and a half million which would allow us to develop the brakes a bit more or the ride handling center which unlocks the suspension that either of these parts sort of what we can do we can't build the engine the brakes or the rear wing so we can build a new suspension and brakes that's the gearbox in it that's a spec part so yeah we can access that in the early going but anyway we're going to skip ahead now until possibly the first race weekend we're first on the grid for drivers now we're Mia Latterden in the car so we've got an exciting first race the OAS as a brand new contender let's just skip over all the news continue and we move through the calendar as we do pretty much similar to motorsport manager 2 don't think we have any new news here looks like we've got a new race sponsor here the view offers per race payments three hundred and fifty thousand pounds from maxwell's beer so we're going to go ahead and accept that it's only for three races so we can improve now so we're back into the black per race one hundred and eighty thousand pounds per race have we got another offer here i'm guessing it's still this one second or above i'm guessing we're not really going to get another sponsorship offer there we're currently team sponsor if we can get that to a three by building that by building the sponsor bit in the headquarters because we know we can buy parts i'm not really going to chase the part development just yet i'm not really too bothered about the drivers because the drivers are possibly drivers are not going to stay with the team in the long term so we're going to buy this it's going to upgrade our sponsor appeal obviously it's costing one and a half million pounds but if we can get that unlocked and we head back now is that going to unlock the second part to the sponsors oh, we have to upgrade the hq what do we have to get it to to hospitality tents which is what we need to do once we've built this so or maybe it's built when we do the next bit but we're not going to be able to see anyway so let's continue we've got the ardennes grand prix coming up we've got the race weekend starting now the belgium grand prix i'm guessing with no there's going to be no practice here we're going to go for Wan Chai Industries, £300,000 will give us £780,000 if we can qualify above ninth. Obviously, our drivers are pretty decent, so maybe ninth is not out of the question here. As we head into qualifying, a couple of new graphics here. Let's just skip over that, let's actually get in. The graphics look pretty nice here as well. Ardennes open wheel sprint, so it's a lovely warm day here in Ardennes. Hopefully we won't see any rain. Let's just skip over all of these we can simulate qualifying but we're going to do normal qualifying to start with i might simulate a few later on but as we see barras and latinan a 10 minute qualifying session we'll just knock up the speed a little bit wait for some cars to come out we'll send latinan out first um where is the setup pick a card or continue so we'll continue or we can use so we've got sort of like a card game here and if you get mechanic skill level so sort of like a card game where we can bust and maybe go back on the setup or we can go forward on the setup so we can use a skill cost car setup bonus this costs three to seven which we've got mechanic skill level up to seven so if we use this one adjust camber cost five this one would cost zero to two which we do have as well so we can use that one as well uses just one this one uses zero to nine so i think we will bust we've got 14 percent on this so we're going to continue with latin and we're going to come out on the ultras send them out on the quickest compound tire for qualifying here so latinan is coming out of the pits now and we're going to get barras out of the pits as well 
he's got a bit of mechanic skill level all the way up to 12. So we could, we might as well use this one first, see what we're going to do. And we improve the turbo, just cost us five there. We can go six here, zero. No, we'll go with this one. Tweak the wing angles is a three. That one's going to cost five. So if that one costs five, we would bust. This one can go zero to four. So we will use that one. Optimize that to cost us zero. Or should we take a risk on that one? No, I think at 26%. We've gone above and beyond what we should be should have be reasonably been expecting. We've managed to make pretty a pretty decent little dint into the performance here. I don't think we're going to really go any better than that until we start moving up the series with the quality of the mechanics we've got. But anyway, Barras is out on track. Latinen is doing her outlap at the moment as she comes across the line. We're going to be able to see where we are able to get after this first lap. Hopefully we're going to be pretty decent here. We need to finish above this ninth place. So hopefully that is going to be possible for us here. We're not going to be able to see until we come across the line. Latinen goes quicker than a couple of the cars here. So that's going to be looking good for Barras, who's setting the quickest time. Looks like he's going to be on pole position here. Pole position for Barras. First place on the grid at the moment. Looks like he's possibly going to be keeping that place. I'm guessing we're going to have just enough time to do another lap here. Especially with Latin and so we'll get us straight back out. It doesn't look like we can tweak the setup again. So same time remaining. Time for a new stint. So we'll do that. We'll send Barris. Oh no, we can actually go with the setup again. So I don't want to risk this one because we could bust and just wreck the car at the moment. So we do get to go a little bit quick here. That one costs zero. A little bit of an improvement. We go four. Is it going to be worth going for another one? It's not. We've managed to make a 23% increase with Maya Latin, and she's going to come back out on the Ultra Sauce. We're going to leave it a little bit towards the end of the session, although I don't think Trap Grip really makes a difference in the mobile game, so we might as well get Barras back out early here, see where, what see what we can do with his setup, see if we can improve him. 0 to 15, a 22% bonus. Would it be worth the risk? I don't. It would not. We've already made it. He's already first placed. We're not going to risk too much. 0 to 9% there. Zero to nine skill points. Let's risk it. Two. Just two. And we've made a massive improvement there. We're now a quarter of a second quicker. Another 6% can easily be done with just a one. So we're up there. And this uh, that's going to cost too much. We've only got five points left. This costs one to ten. We're about three to four tenths quicker. So we should be going quicker here as well. This cat game is sort of interesting for the mobile game, obviously. I wouldn't like the PC version to go down this. I would like a more in-depth sort of setup on the PC version. They might not go in that direction though because they possibly want to keep the PC version accessible as well. But anyway, Latinum's going quicker on her second lap here. Not that much quicker, I wouldn't think, but let's see what sort of difference the setup makes. She goes quite a bit quicker, three tenths quicker. She moves herself up to seventh place. Uh, Barras was four tenths ahead. He now moves. He didn't actually improve on that last. He was actually slower than his last lap. Even with the setup bonus as well. But anyway, that is the end of qualifying. First and seventh on our first races here. Not too bad. So hopefully we can get something going during the race. Hopefully keep Barras in the lead here. But there we go. And a achievement unlocked. 1000 XP on the, whatever it is, the Android Game Central, whatever they call it. On the play store so qualifying is over we finished first so we get that bonus payment of the first is it three hundred thousand pounds for each i'm guessing it is so we get that three hundred thousand pounds and if we just continue here race round one another three hundred thousand pounds available to us if we can finish ninth or above here so if we just click continue get past the messages kind of annoying so first and we've got the Ravensburg team in second of Shen Kui. Fourth place. Yeah, so hopefully we can go on and win this race. And we're going to get out of this fourth tier in the first season. Um, have the driving styles changed? It brings up a little new screen here. We're going to maybe attack from the off with both of these cars. Maybe get off the line a little quick. Maybe, yeah, maybe we should just attack from the off just to make sure that we're in a good position. At the start of the race, mechanic bonuses that we can use. Eight plus eight percent on the super soft tire fuel burns three percent slower as well. So we're definitely going to use those. Or plus ten relationship. We can't actually use that. 
at the moment, can we? Or we can actually improve the relationship. So let's just go ahead and improve the relationship here. I think it will be beneficial. The cars look quick enough as they are. Can we change race setup before the race? No, we can just change the tyres. Only three to five laps on this ultra soft though. Um, we're going to start on the super soft. We're going to try one stop this race. Super soft wears away pretty. The ultra soft wears away really quickly here. So super soft, confirm that. Actually, just clip back last time. Maybe we'll go a different strategy with Maya Latinen. We'll go soft and we'll run her a little bit longer. We don't want them coming into the pits at the same time. 14 laps remaining. Gives us some room to push on the tyres. We're just improving the mechanic relationships at the moment. So let's jump straight into this race now, hopefully. And see what we can get out of this race. The lights are about to go out. And here we go with the Belgium Grand Prix. Barras hopefully is going to get off the line here decently he does he's off the line he keeps first place here the fuel's going to burn away pretty quickly so we don't want to keep the fuel mode like that for too long but i'm guessing the other cars are sort of doing the same latin and sort of falling down the order and barras has sort of got himself a decent lead here so we're going to turn him down now at this point switching back into neutral sort of want to do the same with latin and we do want to make sure we can get to that one stop and the fuel's burning through pretty quickly there do we in the Motorsport Manager 2 game, he didn't actually usually recover fuel too well in medium mode. It looks like you recover some slightly, so maybe if we get to the end of the race running medium now, we're going to recover this little bit of fuel that we've got. Obviously, the car is sort of catching up to us behind, but they've got the ultra softs on. They're possibly going to be doing two stops. They are quicker than us due to the tyres they've got on the car at the moment. But hopefully, they're going to be doing two stops. So, Barras is going to move down the order. We just see some cars start to come into the pits already. If we can just sort of hold form here, hold on to this third place and do a one stop, then even though we drop to third place, we're going to be in a good position for the end of the race. We're not really recovering that much refuel in medium mode, so we're going to have to drop to low mode at some point. Seven, uh, ten laps remaining here. We need to get to around nine laps remaining so any point now we could actually get into the pits we could have possibly no don't pit don't pit don't pit don't pit what are we doing don't pit <laughs> we didn't actually set anything up <laughs> so we've actually dropped to third place here so maybe we should have been on that ultra soft tire because we possibly could have made it go long enough to do the one stop i was erring on the side of caution but hopefully now we can get in and we're sort of at the position now so we can get back to attacking on this tire and you know, we need Latinen to go a little bit longer here. So she's going to stay in neutral. So Barras is currently second. We've got these tyres wearing down. It looks like all the tyres can go down to 10% before you need to pit. Before they hit the red zone. And we see Barras go back into the lead of this race. Hopefully he's going to pick up enough time on these two laps that he's pushing. Hopefully we've got another lap that we can push on here. Or should we get him into the pits this lap? If we go back to neutral now we can keep him out this extra lap. Hopefully he's not going to drop into that 10%. So we can set up his pit stop now. He's going to be coming in for the soft tyre. And yeah, that's all we can change. Fix 7%. There's no point changing or fixing the car. It's all right as it is at the moment. So Barras is going to come into the pits this lap. Hopefully he can get back out into a decent position here. He should be able to finish the race on this soft tyre. We've seen the other cars go for the soft tyre. And we're slowing down. The actual tyre's gone as well. But obviously we, we've not lost too much time, I don't feel. And we've got a nice new graphic for the pit stop as well. It takes a long time to change a set of tyres. We come back out into ninth place. So that puts us effectively third place where we were before the pit stop. And Latinen is going to pit this time for the super softs. So maybe that is something we're going to have to take account of. We're going to have to start on the quicker compound tyre if we want to start higher up the or stay higher up the order later on and get into the pits maybe a lap earlier as well. Pit stop here for Maya Latin and these tyres changed. No mistakes, nice quick pit stop Barras, currently fifth place. We've got some cars that are possibly going to pit though, so we could still be in first place effectively here because they've worn through that pair of soft tyres pretty quickly and we're going to try recover this fuel as well that we've got to recover on these two cars before the end of the race as you see we're not picking up anything in medium mode but we've got a good chance of finishing first here because these super sauce might not reach the end of the race although they might do and we're under pressure as well from Felner in fifth place 
Um, we've recovered the fuel now, so we can switch back to overtake mode slightly. We'll just get Latinen running medium. She's fallen outside the points. So Barras is currently fifth place here. So we've not had the best of races here. We need to try and get used to this game again here. And it looks like this soft tyre is going a long way. So we can get attacking on these as well. For the end of the race. These super softs are wearing down though. But it looks like the AI is going to be able to get those to the end of the race. Two laps remaining here. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to pick up any places, although we've moved back up to fourth. Are we starting to see some cars pit? We move up into fourth, drop down to fourth again, though. Heading into the final lap, I don't think we're going to see either any of these teams pit. Someone's tyres could run down, which could give us a run at them towards the end here. Could have possibly got back on for a super soft. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we're actually out of fuel. I forgot to turn the fuel back down. It looks like we just recovered, though. Looks like we're just recovering the fuel. Something to remember. I need to get used to this mobile game again for put after. I haven't actually played Motorsport Manager 2 in a very long time. Latina moved herself back up to ninth place. Uh, we move up in experience. New contender achievement. So not the best of races there. Sort of need to get used to this mo Motorsport Manager game again. It's a long time since I played the Motorsport Manager 2 game. But... At least we know that if you run out of fuel, you just go back into low mode to recover the fuel to the end of the Grand Prix. Sort of put, sort of went pushing, but we still came fourth overall, which is not too bad. Um, we'll continue. Everyone else managed to do the Ultra and the Super when it didn't even look like was that was possible from what it said at the beginning of the game. It looks like most people score points in this series. Points got all the way down to 15th place here. So... Not too bad there. I'm guessing we're going to get to see where we're at. 20 points. We're not that far behind at the moment. We can still pick that back up if we go for it. As we know, we're making money now. So we might buy a new part on the next episode. But as it is, that is where we're going to leave this episode. Not going too well considering we finished first place, but we get the other, uh, we get Harry Chapman. Most of these are still the same from the PC game and Motorsport Manager 2. We just skip over all these messages. We've got improvement points on the drivers as well. So should we just do that before we finish this episode? We see we're actually making some decent money here. I'm guessing we can actually buy money as well. 199 for seven, seven and a half million. You can buy 60 million for 599. Maybe we'll do that like when we're playing like the game where we're getting the chairman payments and stuff and we can just have a beast team that's winning every race. As it is, we're just going to take this £780,000 into the bank. Or as it says in the game, dollars. But let's just move forward here. We'll just do the supplier network is now available though as well. Choose a starting supplier from Europe, the US or China. Each supplier provides an initial acquisition bonus. Collect assets. Collect points, trucks and boats to earn enough assets to unlock supply bonuses. The more assets you have, the more bonuses you can unlock. And then we can purchase bonuses as well. Through this, every supplier has three bonuses available to purchase with planes, trucks and boats. Make sure you're constantly acquiring new assets and suppliers. So, select your starting location. Since we're a British-based team, I'm guessing we're going to start off in Europe. One famous engineer available to hire. Two Chinese paid drivers available to scout. And a plus two setup stat to both mechanics. Yeah, so we'll get a start off in Europe. Gives us a famous engineer available. So what can we do here? We can actually go over here and... So what do we do? Target slot. So if we click that, does that do something? We can do that. So we're going over here. So we do this and it's going to unlock something once we do that. But I'm guessing we're not going to be able to... If we click back here... We can actually not actually buy anything here. Insufficient assets. So once we buy a plane, we can actually pick the bonus. So we can't actually do it with that until we actually come back from the next race. I've cut the ribbon on a new HQ facility. So we've got the new sponsor level. We've got the public relations team built. And we'll just leave everything as it is until we come back for the next episode. Well, I've heard that Jerry Smith is available. He's one of the best engineers, best engineers working at our level where is he 
Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Jerry Smith is only three stars. Whereas we already had someone here who was three and a quarter stars. Is he cheaper? No, he's not even cheaper. Gives bonuses there. Leadership plus five. Cost per race 170,000. We're just going to ignore Jerry Smith at the moment. We don't need that. First steps, if you've got to complete in a worldwide spot, you need to build a global supply network. With your logistics HQ in it, established, you're ready to seek out new and upcoming bonuses. So you get some XP as well, which I'm guessing goes up here. This is your team's influence. Influence is used for sneaky actions such as bending the rules on a part you're building or persuading a driver to enter contract negotiations. Signing sponsorship deals is the best way to gain influence. So a couple of info, uh, a couple of interesting things we can do here. So we've got some points available. I think he would be best. He's usually quick enough that we don't need overtaking. Smoothness would go well, so his tyres would last longer. Race starts, he seem pretty good as well. Since he's going to be at the top of the pack, defending is important. I'm going to go smoothness here because, as we saw, we didn't seem to have the tyre wear to sort of compete. And she'd reach her potential as Maya Latinen. Maybe since she's starting further down the order, but braking makes the driver faster by braking later. Yeah, we'll go breaker with Mia. She's got a lot of improvement that she can make in braking and cornering as well. So quite a little bit of improvement there for those two. But we're on our way to improving them. And we can claim our bonus. Select your reward for reaching level 2. 50,000 is not much for We've got influence. It might come in handy later on in the series. And we've got the supply network in building. Yeah, so just getting used to this game again and getting used to the sort of new little bits that we've got. But we've got the Cape Town Grand Prix, which was the equivalent of Monaco. But this game does now have Monaco in it. And we've got an invitational event here, whatever that is. So, and it looks like we finished this season in Monaco. So Cape Town, which used to be the equivalent of Monaco, is now replaced by... Not replaced, but also has the actual Monaco in the game as well so hopefully that's going to be coming to the PC version as well which would be good but anyway that is where we're going to leave this hopefully we're going to be coming back maybe pretty soon to do the second episode on Motorsport Manager 3 on mobile devices tablets as I said iOS Android whatever you want whatever you play this game on but anyway hit that subscribe button leave a like leave a comment maybe you thought I did pretty crap with the with the strategy on that first race obviously just getting used to how the tyres and stuff work back in this game but anyway that is it maybe check out the Williams series as well on the actual PC version of Motorsport Manager but until next time I'll see you down the road in South Africa for the Cape Town, Cape Town Grand Prix and goodbye <laughs>